everybody, Alexandra Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. So these are some of my favorite micas in the whole world. These are my Vivid Hollow collection micas from Island Micas and More. And I absolutely love them. I love using them in all sorts of situations. And one of the things I've done with them in the past is I've mixed them with alcohol. So I created Vivid Hollow Mica Halls using these 11 micas and some 99% alcohol. And I have put them on a black cup before, but I haven't done it quite like this. So today we're going to play with, we have a black 20 ounce skinny straight here, spray painted it matte black. I am going to mix up about 20 milliliters of resin. I'm gonna take five milliliters away. And then in the rest, I'm gonna mix some of my black cast and craft opaque pigment. So I'm going to have a black resin. That's what's going to go on the tumbler. Then I'm going to drop on my mica holes with my vivid hollows in them. And then I'm going to put white and pearl. I have Blanco Blanco, the pinata alcohol ink in white and pinata alcohol ink in pearl. I'm going to put that into the little bit of resin that I siphoned off in the beginning. And that's going to be a drizzle. I'm going to hit it with heat. I'm going to tilt it. This is different because the last couple times I've used these particular mica holes, I put it on clear resin on a black tumbler and I didn't use any white drizzle on top. So this should get us some different sort of movement. We're going to have black underneath and white drizzle on top, and we'll see what happens. I want to mention before we go any farther what the exact colors are. Peridot, uh, gold, jade, rose gold, onyx, periwinkle, toasted coconut, teal, forest, silver, and steel. Sit back, enjoy the show. And we're back. Okay, this turned out so beautiful. I mean, I, I kind of figured it would, but I wasn't sure exactly how it would look. I think because of the all the black resin underneath that moved around and the white drizzle that you can't see anymore, but it moved things around, definitely. We ended up with something a lot more fluid looking than the last couple times I tried these Vivid Hollow Mica Hauls. And I absolutely love this. It's hard to see because of all the hollow from the, the workroom lights, but the colors have all moved around and swirled together and it's just beautiful. Absolutely love how this looks. Very, very happy with that. And now I want to put a decal on it. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly. This looks good. Why not? <laughs> so this is uh, by request. I have taken the steampunk puppy that I created in AI. And I put a little brass frame around him. And I printed him out on holographic vinyl. It's the starry holographic. I don't know if it shows up here or not. It should. You can see the stars in the back. 
hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. So I've got lots of holographic going on. And a steampunk puppy because of the metallics. I figured, uh, yeah, it seemed to make sense to me at the time when I was trying to figure out what on earth to put on here. This is, I, I'll put the name on the screen that I've used. I think I used it once or twice before. This is, it's really pretty though. Let me just put him on there. I keep saying him. It could be a little girl puppy. Absolutely could be a little girl puppy. Why not? Okay. So we've got our puppy on there. I will probably put UV resin over the whole thing, going outside all of the edges, and then stick it out. We've got a beautiful sunny day today. That way it will be uh, tacked down so that none of the corners or anything will lift when I put epoxy resin over the whole thing. And I'll do that next after the UV resin. I will absolutely put into the epoxy resin some 504 glitter so the puppy and everything else will sparkle even more than it already does. And the next time we see this, it should be out in the sunshine. Stay tuned.